Patricia Atlanta, and this segment we're going to talk a little bit about work from home wellness. I'm here with Dr. Fisher. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Now, I got to imagine you probably never thought that you would get all these questions. This, you know, we, we never knew that this would be the case, right? Like everybody would be work, working from home. But, you know, some of us yeah. aren't doing it right. And we're really causing ourselves some issues in terms of posture and, and, and back pain. What are you hearing? So we've seen a trend over the last 10 years with a condition called tech neck. And what that is, is actually, as you can see from these x-rays, it's the reversal of our normal natural curve that we're supposed to have to support our head. But we've seen an acceleration of that now that people are working at home and remotely because they don't have their desks and their computers set up right. Plus, we're on smartphones even more than ever before. Yes, now that's what I, I, when I've heard of tech neck, it was because of all the cell phone we're doing, right? Like we're always looking down, we're doing something with the, the, the cell phone and it's messing up our alignment to some extent. But you're saying that that's also an issue for some of us who don't have good chairs at home when we're working from home or we're not working in a chair, we're working on the couch, um, those type right. of things, huh? Yeah, and, and, and you know, the, the chair helps because you can adjust the height of your eye level but honestly the monitor is a big component to that in that when your monitor is down low like this one as you can see with my neck i'm looking downward at the monitor just like this neck is here but if we can put our monitors up higher and look up at them it helps a great deal with establishing that that proper posture that we're supposed to have Okay, so so where are your patients see, feeling the pain? Because from just looking at it, um, I would think that they would feel it at the base of the neck, but are they feeling it further down their back into their spine? Like, wh how are we um, suffering because of technique? Yeah, that, that's a great question. So a lot of patients will come in and they'll have pain in the neck, but now we're seeing it radiate down uh. into the shoulders, in between the shoulder blades, you know, because our neck is supposed to be more like this. Yeah. With yeah. a curve to help support it. But now when it's forward, it's like our muscles are, are trying to hold on for their dear life to hold up the weight of our head. So okay. it's actually starting to affect the upper back. And you can see the hunching of people's shoulders. Gotcha. Like, you know, you, you see the little people walking around with the hunchbacks. Yeah. You know, none of us want that but this tech neck is forcing that to happen over time. Wow, wow. okay, so you've given us a, a few tips already. Get a better chair, get an appropriate chair, and mm -hmm. make sure that, so the monitor should be eye level, is that what we're, is that our goal? That's what we used to think. Oh. But now we know the higher the monitor is. So if it's down like this, not good. Even at eye level, that keeps our neck somewhat in neutral. But if you can get it up as high as you can, where you can still type and do your work, where you're actually looking up at it, as you can see with my neck, I'm actually starting to restore some of that natural curve no way. in my neck. No way. I yeah. would not have yeah. thought that. Well, well mm -hmm. now I've got to ask you, yeah. do you have a website for people to get kind of these tips and things that we could do? Because sometimes it just takes small things for us to adjust to have a better outcome, and, but we don't even know what those small things are. Um, do you have maybe a website where we can go and learn some, some, some tips? Yeah, I do. I, it's it's FisherTraction.com. And on there, I have research studies on traction and the benefits of home traction. So just correcting things postural in your workplace is great, but so many people need more than that. And traction is the answer. Home traction is something that can actually erase or recharge your batteries of tech neck. It can help correct it and fix it where maybe you're not as diligent to remember at all times about your posture. You can use traction at home. Fisher Traction can help restore that natural curve. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. Because you know that was going to be my next question. Are we doomed? <laughs> but you're saying no, we're not doomed. We can fix this. We can do better. We can start now and you know learn more, do better, and we can get a, a proper posture going again. There is hope. Okay. There is hope. <laughs> and, 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 and research has shown that that if you were able to do traction on a regular basis, 
but it's a specific type of traction where it's not only elongating your spine, but helping to increase that natural curve. And a lot of the research that is out there, I've taken that incorporated into my Fisher traction, where my traction actually helps restore that natural curve while at the same time decompressing the spine. And oh decompression God. of the spine is a key factor in eliminating tech neck. Oh my gosh, Dr. Fisher, I can't thank you enough. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for showing us what we were doing, showing us how we can do better and giving us a place to go to learn more. I appreciate your time. Thank you, appreciate it. Absolutely. All right, Dr. Fisher says it is not a lost cause. There are things that we could do. We can do better, first of all. We can get better chairs. We can get, you know, appropriate monitor height. But then we could also, you know, step it up a little bit. Go to the website and learn more. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to this segment of Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back.